Thank you for joining me for another edition of New Horizons, the daily podcast and radio ministry of Flat Creek Baptist Church here in Gainesville, Georgia. It is my greatest joy, as always, to be able to join you for this time of teaching and diving deep into God's Word together. Uh, It is our greatest joy to be able to provide this ministry to you. I hope it is a blessing to you. And if you would like more information about Flat Creek Baptist Church, please go to our website, flatcreekchurch.net, and there you can find all the information you need about service times, um, our church address, and uh, how to stream our services, um, what ministries we provide, all that good stuff. We'd love to come alongside of you in your walk with Christ. And also, if you would like to support New Horizons, the radio and podcast ministry, you can give online. Everything you give goes directly to this ministry to keep this going so that we can continue reaching people with the gospel of Jesus. Uh, So today, we're going to turn our Bibles to the book of Luke, chapter number 11. The book of Luke chapter number 11, as we continue to talk about prayer. Now, as I told you uh, yesterday, we're just going to talk about prayer for a few days, take a little break out of Mark and uh, just spend some time together on this topic of prayer. And I I was just telling you yesterday about how, uh, how amazing it is that we are able to pray to God, that we actually are able to address him, to come before him, to speak with him, to cry out to him. Uh, it's, It's just, it's this amazing concept that we're actually able to approach the God of heaven. Um, You know, and and today we're going to see this in the text, but I want to think about just a little story the other day that uh, happened in my house. So uh, we're about to go on vacation and uh, looking forward to taking a few days off. And my my wife this week, she's been a little bit under the weather. She hasn't been feeling the best. And she's been so worried over the last few days that, you know, uh, because of her sickness, Uh, She's going to ruin the family vacation, this vacation we've been planning for some time. And so she's been really seeking God and praying. And we've been praying as a family that this sickness will go away before we ever get on vacation. And so uh, the other night I had something going on. I wasn't at home when we normally do our family prayer time. And so my wonderful wife, you know, she always takes up the slack for me when I'm uh, not at home and I'm out doing other things. And uh, so she says she gathered the family together to pray and they prayed and she prayed, God, I pray that you will uh, help me to get over this sickness so that I can have a good time on vacation. She said they prayed and and she took my boys, she put them in bed and my little girl, she's six years old and she always wants to sleep with mama and daddy. And so she laid down in the bed with uh, us and and she's laying there beside her mama. And Summer said in that moment, she looked at little June and she said, I really hope that God will heal me before we go on vacation. And at that, little June, my little six-year-old girl just kind of rolled over in the bed. And my wife said she put her forehead against hers. And my little girl looked at her mama and said, Mama, you just have to believe. Now, friends, I'll tell you right now, that's it. That's the heart of prayer. You just have to believe. Just believe that when you come to God, that he's going to answer your prayers, that he's going to answer according to his will and his way. You you know, a lot of people say we shouldn't ask God questions. We we shouldn't ask God, uh, you know, why? We shouldn't, uh, shouldn't, uh, you know, bother God with these things. Well, friend, listen to me. Prayer is simply operating in faith. It's, it's, It's going to the only one who knows is, is coming before the only one who can actually intervene supernaturally in whatever situation you're going through and allowing him to work in that situation. Do you have that type of faith today to, to just say, only believe God, I know and recognize you're the only one who can. That's the heart of prayer. That's the heart of faith. Now, as we come to Luke 11 today, I just want you to see what the Bible says. Now, now the Bible says in Luke 11, verse 1, he was praying in a certain place, talking about Jesus. And when he finished, one of his disciples said to him, Lord, teach us to pray. 
just as John taught his disciples. Friends, what a word. You know, the disciples, they, 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 they see Jesus, the Savior, the Messiah, the sinless one, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world, the God-man, the Son of God, the only begotten of the Father, the King of kings, the Lord of lords. We could go on and on. They're, they're with him. They're walking with him. That They have this, this amazing ministry with him. And yet in all of that, they're watching him. And they see him praying. And these are Jewish men, so these, these men, they had been taught to pray during their lives. Being religious Jews, they had been taught to pray uh, from the, the scrolls and the scriptures. They prayed over every meal. They had very specific religious uh, uh, regulations and ordinances that they had to follow. So, so these were men who knew what prayer was about. How, however, when they saw Jesus praying, that there was something about the way he communicated with his father that there was something about the way he was he was just intertwined with God and in tune with the, the heart of the father and the mind of the father there was there was something about the way that that he was just intimate with the father in heaven that when he would come out of that prayer closet they would say well he's been uh, he's been in contact with God like, like this is this is a, a deep passage for, for us to look at because there was there was something about the way Jesus prayed that it made one of the unnamed disciples say to him, Lord, could you just teach me how to pray like you? Let me ask you a question. Have you ever had anybody come to you and say, Can you teach me to pray like you? I'll tell you, friends, that would be maybe possibly the highest compliment you or I could get. We've all been around those people who are mighty prayer warriors. You know, we've all been around those people that, that if we think about it right now, we'd say, I'd love to hear that person pray. Uh, that, that, that guy or that girl, when they pray, they touch the very throne of God. You ever been around somebody like that? Have you ever had somebody come to you and say, teach me to pray? That's a deep thought. They come to Jesus. Teach me to pray. Now, here's a lesson for you, friends. Jesus, who is the Son of God, thought it important to pray. Friends, listen. If Jesus, the blessed Son of God, who takes away the sins of the world, who holds all things together, who created everything by His mighty voice, if Jesus, the Son of God, who has all power, all authority, all might on heaven and earth, if Jesus thought it important to pray, how much more do you and I need to be on our faces before God every day? If Jesus said, in order for me to go out of this house and do the work that God's called me to do, I've got to be intentional in my prayer life. How much more do you and I need to be intentional in ours. So once again, I come back to that closing question I asked you yesterday. How is your prayer life? Where are you at in your walk with God as it pertains to prayer? If you're not praying enough, if you're not praying as much as you think you ought, then I want to encourage you right now to turn off this podcast and just pray to God. Can I tell you? He wants to hear from you. May God bless you. And we'll see you next time on New Horizons.